I literally am in the middle of uploading a video called I need to stop playing itch.io horror games, but at the same time, here we are. I'm sorry, I'm an addict for this shit. I literally cannot stop coming back to play these games. There's just something about it that just warms my tummy up. But the issue is finding games to freaking play. Tell you what, let's do this one, Smiling Man. You know what, I don't need to read the story on this. It doesn't matter. None of these games have any good stories at all. This is like the digital equivalent of like injecting myself with small doses of poison. It's like, man, this bad video game ain't shit. I've got an immunity to this crap. Smiling man. Ooh, it's not in the zip folder. This is new. Does he just like follow me the entire game like Lisa from PT? This is gonna be so good. I just love getting myself excited for whatever I'm just stepping into now. Mm, yeah, there's that VHS so we can get that VHS filter going in because that's that's the new uh, That's the new vibe for horror games is VHS Ooh, Ooh that it's like a 32-bit ass rip It's like if you ran one of my farts through like a Game Boy music maker. Oh, yeah, we're ready We got the headphones on I just hope that this game really changes my life That's what I expect whenever I get a free video game off itch.io. It's gonna change my life I'm going to be a better person whenever I'm done playing it, but we can only hope. Uh, look at that beautiful smile. Draw distance high, obviously. Come on, man. That's why I have an RTX 2070, just so I could get the best performance out of my itch.io games. AAA gaming is so overrated. I don't know why people don't come on itch.io. There are just oodles of free games to play. Hey, maybe this game actually might be good, though. We'll see, though. The Smiling Man. They're putting a lot of effort into the presentation for it, so it's got to be something, man. Because that luggage game we played last time was shit. I have a habit of leaving everything for the night. Yeah, many say that this hobby of mine is strange. Oh, is he one of those guys that goes around and staples bread to trees and, like, uploads that shit on Reddit? And then I decided to go shopping at the market for dinner at dawn. But tonight... I came force to face with evil. It was a horrible and scary experience. It was 2 a.m. What, did you just meet like some 4chan user that just came out of their house for the first time to interact with people? Oh, let's fucking go. Oh, what do we got here? He watches you all the time, even at bedtime. All the time. Dude even has his own calling card trademark. That is exactly how I like my stalker to look. Completely professional. Go to the market, which I assume is this way. Oh, I can't wait till we run into this guy. Dude, it's probably just like some edgelord or something. Don't let their expressions fool you. Their feelings and wants are different. Was he like sexually attracted to me? Oh, hey, what's happening? Oh, it literally doesn't let me go across the street to talk to this guy. Oh, come on. He looks like a nice guy. Come on. How many of these guys are there? Is it like a smiling cult? Am I running past pieces of paper that I should be reading? Nah, come on. What do we got going on here? To the market. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. But fuck it, let's go out into the voidless night. Nope. Oh, dude, a police telephone box. Why is there no lighting in this one section? Did the planning district just say, fuck it, they don't need light? All right, mark it. Oh, Jesus. Man, there's just like this weird vibe that games like this give off. I don't know what, I don't know what it's called though. Just the vibe I get from this, like this counter that's just floating in the air, the shelf that has no back end to it. It's just, it's like being trapped inside like a room with no windows in it. It gives off that same energy. It, you just don't know. Oh, I like that you can see his reflection on it. Glad to see it's got the realistic reflection RTX thing for this game. For the pristine graphics it has. It's it's beautiful. It was one dollar eighty one cents. Thank you. A buck eighty one, that's not bad. What did I buy? Go home. It literally snapped me to go look at this guy. That was like, I have been jump scared numerous times. That was a dog shit attempt. I am sorry. No, get fucked. That just made me laugh. I'm sorry. Oh, I can't even go that way. 
You know why? Because I'm stupid and home is that way. Yeah, nice try, jackass. It's like that guy from the first Purge movie that's just like on the door cam smiling, trying to be as scary as possible, but it's just like some cringe Reddit shit. It's like, ooh, you're so fucking spooky just standing there being ominous. Yeah, I know your buddy back there tried scaring me. That sh Sorry, not gonna work. Do these guys have nothing better to do besides stand on the sidewalk and just smile at people? Honestly, they've got like such a fetish for just standing on the sidewalk just looking at people. Get a job as like a sign tosser. At least you get to wear like a funny costume besides whatever Ranger Park bullshit you're wearing right now. I don't know why I'm being so hard on this game. It literally snaps you to look at the guy. Yeah, like what? I better not get close to this madman. Dude, that's not a madman. That's a fucking Redditor. They ain't gonna do shit. Just show him a picture of a girl and he will immediately run away in fear. The next night. Oh, don't tell me. All game, we're gonna go down to this market and deal with these clowns. What we got? Yep, same sign. Wow, they couldn't even be bothered to update their... What? What? Jesus Christ. Press space to skip? Okay. I'll give you points for that. I've been shit-talking you the entire time. Wait, hang on. I pressed space to skip. Why didn't it take me to the market when I pressed space to skip? So how- how much- You're a lot taller than your, uh, co-workers. Dude looks like, uh... I don't know what this guy looks like. He looks funny, that's for damn sure. What's with the VHS tape? Are we filming with, like, a video camera? I don't get it. Does this guy, like, document himself going to the market every night? Is he, like, an IRL streamer? I don't know, they killed the... Yeah, whatever. Oh, hey, what's happening? Yeah, what's up? Why does interacting with the shelf make me look at this guy? Uh, I'm not... What? What? I wasn't... Bad ending. There's a good ending to this? What? What, do I let him, like, grab me? What? The fuck? Horror games are so weird now. Just do minute tasks for 10 minutes, and then you get spooked. Is that my new thing now? I just, like, clown on shitty itch.io games? Like, I think I've finally hit the point of no return to where shit like this does not spook me anymore. Like, it really doesn't. Like, I get there's probably a different ending to this game, but I honestly could not give a crap. I don't know. It's waste your time for, like, eight minutes, and then you get spooked. I'm not trying to be overly mean or whatever. It's just, they're just not good. It's video game equivalent of junk food. It's like the video game equivalent of an undercooked bowl of ramen noodles. It's like, yeah, thanks for the free food, but goddamn, what the fuck? I feel like I'm coming off like overly mean and just shit talking these guys that make games. I get it. It's hard to do to make a video game. I've made one before and it was absolute dog shit. It's just, I feel like they always fumble. Like they have an idea, like a good prompt, but they don't expand on it ever. So you just play it and you're like, Okay, we're eventually gonna find one that I'm like, damn, that's a pretty good, it's a pretty good game that we're, uh, that I just played there. I just want a game to surprise me on itch.io. That's happened a handful of times to where I'm like, damn, that was, hey, Keegan, you gotta play this game. It's not been happening lately, but it'll eventually happen again. I just gotta find the right game and Smiling Man is not the right game.